So if you want to make a bunch of wax candles, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I am showing you a couple of ones that I've made here. These are obviously two-tone. You can do them however you want. I've chosen to do color on the bottom, white on top, and uh, it's actually pretty easy. Um, I'm doing this for my benefit as well so that I remember how to do this in the future. But at the end of the day, what inspired me to wind up doing this is we wound up getting a whole bunch of these uh, glass containers from Costco. Uh, this one here was for some creme brulee, and this one here was for some chocolate mousse. And after we did, you know, we ate them. It's like, don't want to throw them in the garbage or anything. And we have so many glasses that I thought, why don't I try making candles with them? And so after doing a little bit of homework and kind of figuring it out, a little bit of trial and error, this is kind of what worked for me. So I am in the process of making some right now. I've got one on the go. It's already started here. I've got my second one already set up over here. Um, the materials are pretty straightforward. I have some plastic cups from the dollar store. I bought a whole bunch of these so that I could use them for specific colors and then set them aside if I did the same color again. Um, I'm about 16 or so candles in. Um, these are my last two um, containers, so I'm not sure I necessarily needed them, but that's okay. If you want to do the same colors, you can just reuse them, but it's probably not a good idea to mix them. So you need a cup, you need some uh, toothpicks, obviously some paper towels, um, I bought some crayons, that's what winds up giving it the color, and I have some four pound soy wax flakes that I wound up picking up from Michaels. The beauty about doing that from Michaels is I priced it uh, there compared to over at Amazon. Amazon's got some great prices, but if you take advantage of the 40% off coupons over at Michaels, you can get a heck of a deal on these. I think these cost me about $22, $24 Canadian, so something like that. Uh, your mileage may vary depending on where you buy them. If you're buying in the United States, probably going to be a little bit less for you. But um, on the top, what I wound up doing is mixing it with some soy dots. These are some ones that I picked up from a Canadian company in Barrie, Ontario called Score Candle. They've got a ton of different scents. This one, um, it happens to be um, maple sugar. They smell quite divine. Um, you can see it's a Canadian company there. Um, they actually package these in um, rice pouches so that they are biodegradable, so I kind of like that as well. Typically, I've been using them as uh, scent infusers. I'll show you quickly over here. We have one on the wall, so they kind of do double duty for this. But I figured, well, heck, I have a whole bunch of these. Why don't I use them inside of my candles? And so what I do, oh, and then the other thing you need is uh, some of the wicks. And I picked these up off of Amazon and uh, they work quite well. They're really long. Um, I'll pause the uh, camera just so I can go grab them and show you what they look like when you pull them out of the package. Okay, I'm back. Now they come with these little adhesives that stick onto the bottom of the uh, container. Um, they're double-sided adhesive. They also come with some quite lengthy um, wicks. I wound up trimming them in half so that I could take advantage of these extra little um, bottom inserts. Ignore the fact that I have a few that are rusty, it just came like that, so I picked the best of the crop there. And what I wound up doing is after cutting them in half, I just pinched them on to, uh, to the bottoms. And uh, I don't know if you can see that in here, but uh, they're basically just pinched on there a little bit, uh, use some needle nose pliers to make that happen, and uh, yeah, they work quite well in my case because I only needed half of them, so I, these uh, stretch a little bit further that way. So getting going on this, what I wound up doing is just taking my um, crayon, and I just took one crayon and um, basically doing two at a time, wound up having half a crayon for each of the candles. So I just cut it up like that, and um, in my case, it was a little bit of trial and error trying to figure out how much uh, of the wax to put in. So in my case, I have a quarter of a cup. Just give me a second here. I'm going to open up the bag. Sorry about that. I'm back. And yeah, um, I just did uh, two quarter cups, so half cup, just a little easier for me to pour. So. Half cup in, half a cup, excuse me, quarter of a cup in, and then quarter of a cup in again, and that's basically it. So um, I'll just 
pop these into the microwave and get that to go. I mean, it's a little bit of trial and error again, so I put them in for about three minutes and uh, let them do their thing. I'll check it and uh, I'll come back once uh, it winds up uh, finishing that time. Okay, so the microwave just finished and you can see after about three minutes, it's a little bit sloshy. Um, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna stir it a little bit with the uh, toothpick. And uh, yeah, you may need a few more minutes in here, but it's getting close. The uh, consistency is uh, a little bit chunky, but if you get a stir up, it's gonna mix around the heat a little bit inside of it. So I. Uh, probably going to put it in the microwave for a little bit longer. Again, it depends on the, uh, you know, how power of your microwave and uh, how long you put it in. So, like I said, I had it in for three minutes there. I'm going to put it in there probably for another minute, and then uh, we'll see what winds up happening after I pull it out. So, hang on just a moment, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran it for another 60 seconds, and that's looking a little better. I'll give it another stir and you'll be able to see that uh, you know not only is it rich in color with half of the crayon but uh, it's also quite liquidy now so this took me a total of four minutes in my microwave while I was waiting for the microwave to finish I checked the price of uh, the um, soy flakes over at Michael's the four pound bag is um, $38 right now and uh, if you use the 40% off it comes to just under $23 so again maybe a little different taxes may be different depending on where you're at but it is what it is um, so I'm gonna put this into the fridge for a bit it is quite hot and I found that if you cool it down a bit then it winds up uh, not causing the adhesive to come off on the uh, holder on the wick so that's quite helpful so you want to get it nice and hot so that it mixes around well and doesn't have any chunks in it but you need to cool it down again so that that doesn't happen so I usually put it into the fridge for about four minutes and then I check right now if I touch it I can feel it's quite hot but um, you know if it's I'm able to hold it in my hand like right now I can feel that it's quite warm I mean it's not going to burn me but if I get to the point of pulling it out of the fridge and I feel that yeah it's warm but it's not uh, you know piercing my hand then I know it's the right time to pour it in so I'm gonna give it four minutes and I'll be right back okay so it's actually been five minutes I had an extra minute because it was a little warm when I pulled it out but as you can see it's still quite liquidy but not as hot to the touch I'm going to give it another stir here because what I found is that a lot of the um, can, uh, not the candle, the uh, crayon winds up uh, sinking to the bottom and you get a um, thicker consistency down there, even like a syrupy paste with the uh, chalk type material. But you give it a stir and then pop it out and now it's ready to go. Now I've been waiting simply because I, I do them in pairs. I go through this whole process where it takes a few minutes, but um, this centerer, I've only got one of them that came in the kit, but these things are great and you don't have to worry about the thing getting too close to the side. And they're nice because they have these multiple ridges on it. So as you can see over here, um, if I put it back on, it'll, it'll, it'll match up on the, um, the second last one here, but on the smaller container that I have, it matches up right nicely on the edge of the, the the innermost area so you know it's you could stuff it in there i normally don't because you know there's a there's a little um spot right there that you could uh, push it in but i don't want to pinch it because you know potentially you're going to uh, damage it uh, coming out have a pinch mark and uh, maybe tear the um um you know tear the positioning within the wax if you pull it out too soon but you know where we're at right now, it's been um, a couple of minutes, um, you know, three minutes to put it in the microwave roughly, um, put it in for another uh, five minutes in the um, fridge, and uh, that gave the wax enough time to uh, harden enough in the last one I did so that I was able to pull it out, not a problem. And now what I'm going to do is just pour it in. And what's nice about this is because I've been measuring half a cup for my containers, they go only about halfway. And that is basically it. I've got a few last drops out there, but you know, as you can see, 
that is nice and half. So what I'm going to do is just let that sit. You know, it's probably going to take another, what, 10 minutes or so to fully set. Normally what I do is I let these things set overnight and come back to it the next day. Um, the reason for that is I don't want to, you know, have it heating up uh, from the top onto the bottom and then mixing in. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of push down on the bottom part and I found that if you do it too soon. These ones are nice examples because there's a nice hard line. You can see on this one that there's a little bit of um, um, movement into the colored portion but uh, it works uh, quite well if you let it sit overnight. And then when I come back to it tomorrow it's almost exactly the same thing. The only difference is I'll get a different container. I'll grab one of the soy dots. And the ones I have look like that. And you're going to say to me, well, last time you said you put in two of the quarter cups. You know, this is going to add a little bit extra. Absolutely. So what I do is I just leave a little section off on the side. You know, it's not exactly an eighth of a cup. It's uh, just a little bit more. So, um... You know, I'll put the full quarter cup in, and then I'll put uh, the eighth of a cup with uh, with a little bit missing there, and that seems to be just about the right amount. Um, you obviously want to monitor it as you're uh, as you're filling it up to the top. But then once I'm done, you can see that the um, the wick is much higher. I just give it a snip, and uh, and then I'm done. So I'll uh, I'll let that rest overnight uh, for the second night. And, uh, you know, I do it slow. You can do these faster if you want to. But for me, I'm not in a rush to get these done. I just do them as just a little hobby thing to, you know, be something different to do when, um, you know, I want to make a couple of these. And, you know, when we wind up having some more um, mousse or we have some more creme brulee, and then we wind up making this. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the process. And uh, I think that they're working out very well. Um, the other thing that I wind up doing is writing on the... Uh, the container when I do the, because this is obvious, this is like an orangey material or an orangey uh, color, but uh, if I'm doing the white ones, they're all the same color, so I'll just draw with a Sharpie marker which uh, scent I wound up using, and then on the bottom, I'll just, uh, that one isn't scented, but uh, you know, this one, I'll just write down what, uh, you know, this one's blueberry cobbler, so I'll basically write down on there so I know what scent it is, and I'll tidy that up, put a nicer label on before, right, if I decide to give them away as gifts or something like that. Um, before I wrap up, um, I just wanted to show you that is the creme brulee. It is uh, Marie Morin. That's the one that we wound up getting from Costco. So if you see it there, you can do exactly the same as me. They're actually quite nice. You just uh, flambe the top and uh, it gives you a nice uh, texture. But, you know, depends on if you like that. I'm enjoying the glasses for this purpose. And then it's the uh, Delici Belgian chocolate mousse that we wound up picking up. And... Uh, they look like that, you know, and they're, they're quite good. My kids really like them, but I like the containers now that I'm able to make this. The soy flakes, they look like that, $37. And then the candle wicks, they are these guys here with the uh, the centering device uh, inside of them. So you can pick those up. They are uh, $12 right now on Amazon. So I'll put the links to all of these um, inside uh, the video. And uh, finally, these are the square dots. They've got a ton of different... Um, flavors, uh, scents I should say, that uh, you know even spiked eggnogs if you want to do these at Christmas time. My favorite is the roasted hazelnut espresso, espresso excuse me. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching my video. Just to recap, um, it's a uh, half a cup of the soy flakes. Um, I put half a candle in per container. I wind up microwaving it for anywhere between three and four minutes, stirring it after the three minute mark, engaging how liquidy it is. Then I put it into the fridge for four minutes, and sometimes I give it an extra minute depending on whether it's still hot to the touch. Pour it into the container and let it sit there for a little bit. Um, start the second one immediately after the first one has been poured, and by the time I go through this again, the second one is uh, ready and the first one has hardened enough that I can take the centering device out and move it over onto the second candle. Wait uh, 24 hours and then wind up uh, doing the, um, the top part where I use uh, a single soy dot. I use, again, two um, of the quarter cup uh, inserts, um, removing a little bit, just eyeballing it so it's right about the size of one of these soy dots and um, make sure to label it and uh, then you're done so anyway thanks for watching the video let me know if you have any questions and uh, yeah happy candle making